If we have to share a document with different users, we may wish to set levels of access or we can set varying levels of permissions stating who can read the document but cannot make changes to it, or who can make changes to the document but cannot print, or who has full control of the document so that they can do everything with it. To set these different varying levels of permission, we can go to the Backstage view, Protect Document, Restrict Permissions by People, and let's go to Restricted Access. Now, depending on who you are sharing this document with, we can enter their level of permission. First, let's check this box, Restrict Permission to this document. And let's say, for example, I wanted Pat and Ben to be able to read this document but they cannot change, print, or copy content, then I can enter their username in this box separated by a semicolon. So let's enter pat at abc123.com. I'll separate it with a semicolon. And we'll also enter ben at abc123.com. Now, if I wanted Chris to be able to read and make changes to the document, then I'll enter his username in this change box. So let's enter Chris at abc123.com. And of course, you can enter multiple users separated by semicolons. Now, if we go to more options, we can set an expiration for this document. Let's check this box. This document expires on and we'll set it to expire on the 31st of December. And what that means is that if any of these users try to get into this document after the expiration date, they will not be able to open it. We can also grant access to individuals if we want to allow them the ability to print content. For example, if I wanted Pat to be able to read the document and print it, I can select his username and check the print content box. If we wanted to allow users with read access to copy the content, that would be Pat and Ben. If we wanted to allow them to be able to copy content, then we will check this box as well. Now, once we've set our permission level, we can click OK. And on the backstage view, we have our note, access to this document has been restricted to certain people. So when the individual users try to open this file, they would have limited access to what they can and cannot do. And that will be Ben, Chris, and Pat. We'll come out of backstage view and it tells us on our status bar that this document has restricted access. So in this lesson, we have looked at a number of security features that are available in Microsoft Word. I do hope that you can implement some of these features in your documents. And now that we know how to secure our document, let's move on to the final lesson of Word Level 3, Creating Forms. Stay with us as we move on to the next lesson. Hi, I'm Russell Sorter. Chairman and CEO of Learning GG. We believe with conviction that learning generates growth. That's why we named the company Learning GG. Our mission is to provide online video training that is effective, affordable, and accessible from your PC, tablet, and smartphone. Our purpose is to inspire lifelong learning within everyone. Learn by reading books attending classes, and watching high-quality educational videos. The moment we think we know it all, we stop growing. Develop the passion for learning. Be a lifelong learner.